Well, hi YouTube. This is Josh with the 8-Bit Junkie. Today I'm going to work on this uh, NES system I've got. Um, it, it wasn't reading the games very well. It's getting the, the flashing lights on it. Um, I tried disabling the, the lockout chip and that's helped out a little bit, but I'm still getting the brown screen uh, quite a lot. The brown screen is what happens instead of blinking when it can't read the game, but the lockout chip's been disabled. It just gives you a brown screen. So uh, I went online and some people suggested I try boiling the 72-pin connector and um, sounds like something off of Mythbusters. All you do is, is boil it for five or ten minutes and and it's like getting a new one. So um, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna try a little bit of um, a little bit of science and I'm actually going to do uh, ten trials with three different games. I've got Zelda, uh, Ninja Gaiden, and River City Ransom. I'm gonna insert and turn it on, uh, see what the result is, uh, unplug plug back in, do that ten times uh, for each one, so 30 trials. And, um, and then I'm going to go uh, boil the connector, uh, put it back together, and try it again and see um, if the percentage of successful inserts and starts actually goes up. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to start out with, uh, with Zelda. I'm just going to go ahead and, and take the system out, the, uh, get the cartridge out of the system, and reinsert it, turn it back on, measure the results. And I'm going to do that ten times and then switch to the next game. So here it is. Okay, and that should be uh, 10 unless I miscount it, and I got uh, 6 out of 10 on that one. So uh, next I'll try uh, Ninja Gaiden. And uh, in Zelda, um, I believe I've, I've cleaned this one, but uh, I'm not sure if I cleaned it that, that well or not. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, um, I've cleaned uh, very well several times uh, in, in testing this one out. So here's Ninja Gaiden. I'm gonna say that first one was a fail. That I don't know. Uh, yeah, fail. Okay, that was uh, four out of ten for for Ninja Gaiden. Okay, and so uh, finally we'll do uh, River City Ransom. Oh, and, and River City Ransom, I haven't, uh, uh, I don't think I've even cleaned it. Uh, one out of ten, so that one's probably pretty dirty. I'm, I'm just going to, just for fun, try to do the wiggle method and see if I can ma make it work. Or, let's see, turn off, turn on, doesn't work. Turn off, reset, doesn't work. Uh, turn it, uh, the wiggle uh, technique, and... Uh, Okay, so this one is probably pretty dirty, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take this all apart and boil it, uh, put it back together, and then come back and test it again. Okay, so I've got the uh, Nintendo disassembled, I've got the motherboard taken out, and uh, if you want to see a video with a full disassembly of the NES, uh, check out my video on how to disable the, the lockout chip. Uh, click here, here, yeah, right there. So. Um, so once you've got, gotten the motherboard out, the 72-pin uh, connector just pulls off the back. So I'm going to pull this off, and then I'm going to go boil. That's it. All right, so I'm in the kitchen now. I've got my, my water at a really nice uh, rolling boil. Uh, I've got uh, something to set the part on when I'm finished. Um, I've got this little uh, contraption uh, to set the part on. I'm going to try to clip it on the side. You, you don't, you don't want the part to, to set on the bottom of the pan because uh, it could probably melt. If it's in the water, it's not touching the sides, it's not going to melt. The water only gets up to boiling uh, 100 degrees C. So uh, no, no worries about that. But if it touches the bottom of the, the pan, it can actually get too hot and melt. So I'm going to try to suspend it uh, with this thing. It's got to sit um, different, different people say different things. I'm going to try for um, 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, well, 
uh, without having to, to sit here and hold this the whole time, I wasn't able to figure out a way to get it to, to set in there without touching either the sides or the bottom. Uh, so I came up with a little bit uh, better solution using uh, these two uh, wooden spoons. Uh, so I've got the part that's sitting in the V, uh, so it's not touching either side or the bottom. Um, you know, I didn't really want to stay in here for, for 10 minutes with my hand over the hot boiling water, so uh, that, that's what I came up with. It seems to be working pretty good. This was, uh, this was a fail. So, all right, about 10 more minutes to go. It's been about five minutes so far, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it go for a full 15 and um, see, see what happens. Okay, so it's been uh, 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Okay, so we've got the, the 72 pin connector boiled and I've got my motherboard out. While I've got this out, I'm going to go ahead and, and clean off this card edge with some contact cleaner and Q-tips. Um, I'm also going to shoot this, uh, the 72 pin connector with some contact cleaner, mainly just to uh, dry any of the water off that, that might still be on there. Uh, I've got my contact cleaner, been using this, MG Chemicals, really like it. I call it my magic spray. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on there. Hit it with Q-tip. And, uh, eh, you know, there's some, a uh, little bit of corrosion on there, so keep doing that until, um, until basically it doesn't come, you know, no more, no more comes off. It's a, it's a little dirtier than I, I imagined it would be. I'm going to hit the other side. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, and just shoot this one. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry off just a little bit, uh, put everything back together, and then, and then try the test over with now the boiled and cleaned 72 pin connector. Alright, so I've got this all put back together with the 72 pin connector that I boiled, and I'm ready to do my try all over again. I'm going to do it in the same order. I'm going to go Zelda, Ninja Gaiden, and River City Ransom uh, 10 times each and record the number of times uh, it works on the first try out of 10. Lot, um, kind of a lot more force required to, pu to push this in now. Might need to adjust the uh, the t the, um, the mechanism to pu to push this in. It's having a little trouble catching on the way down. Okay, so that's that was ten out of ten. Uh, let's try the next one. Well, um, I'd say something's gone, gone wrong with Ninja Gaiden, but um, the first time I tried it, I, I got 4 out of 10, and this time I got um, only 3 out of 10. So it only worked one time less. I'm, I'm a little concerned why it didn't work. Maybe there's actually something wrong with this, with this game or with the cartridge. Um, but, uh, but I'm not sure, so... I might I might have a problem where I don't have the uh, the front tray adjuster. I'm having some trouble getting it to to snap. <laughs> that was interesting to snap into place. So um, anyway, we'll try uh, River City Ransom. Okay, so um, that was 0 out of 10 versus 1 out of 10. Uh, one time it did come up, but it, was, uh, it still wasn't 100%. So, well, uh, I'd say that's, that's a sort of a mixed result, although I could say River City Ransom might be so dirty that, um, 
that doesn't matter what you know condition the Nintendo's in. It got one out of ten uh, before boiling and zero after. Uh, I'm going to try cleaning this one and see if it doesn't improve. And then um, for Ninja Gaiden, it had a slight decrease, uh, three out of ten instead of four out of ten. Uh, that's probably inconclusive. I, I will say though that um, that Zelda went from six out of ten to ten out of ten. And so it was the best working one at the beginning, and it's, it got even better. So um, I'm going to try adjusting the tension in, in the front assembly to see if I can get it to reliably connect in place. Maybe that's something to do with it. And I'm going to try uh, cleaning River City Ransom and see if it doesn't uh, start working better. Well, okay, so I took this back apart, and I, I did have this uh, not quite adjusted right. I had a couple turns off. Uh, on one side rather than the other. So I went in there and tweaked it a little bit and got it, um, I think, working a lot better. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and try the whole, the whole trial one more time. All right? Well, well I, I said it worked better. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so uh, 10 out of 10 again on Zelda, at least that part's consistent. Uh, so I'm a little bit of trouble getting it to catch. It seems like it wants to do it on the second uh, try, and if I give it a little bit more. Uh, I'm not too sure about that right now, but um, I'm going to try to figure that out later. Oh, okay, well that's one. Okay, so well, that was 8 out of 10 versus uh, 4 out of 10 or 3 out of 10. So it seems like adjusting, having this, uh, the front carriage adjusted correctly has a lot to do with whether or not the game is going to work on the first try. So, uh, so that's something good to know. I, I haven't really read any, anywhere saying that uh, check the adjustment on the carriage to make sure uh, it's seating right. So um, let's try out uh, River City Ransom and see if that actually will work at all. So, out of 20 tries, this has worked once. Hey. Okay, so uh, that went from 0 or 1 out of 10 to 6 out of 10. Uh, without cleaning the game itself, just uh, doing the boiling and then also trying to readjust the tray. Obviously, I'm still having a lot of trouble with this tray getting it to seat uh, properly, so uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do to, to, to fix it. Uh, it was working better when I had the top off. Um, it was seating a little bit better, so um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean this game and try this test again, uh, just the way it is. So, Okay, so I've got River City Ransom. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I've got a couple Q-tips here, and I've got my uh, contact cleaner. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, and clean this up a little bit and then try this uh, test out again. So I'm just taking the Q-tip in there, got a little contact cleaner going on in there. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's got a bit of corrosion on there, so I'll do this a couple more times. Okay, so it's, it's still got uh, a little bit on there, but it's, it's coming off a lot cleaner uh, than it was. So, go and try it out. Okay, well, I, th I think I got a little off count there. I might have been at 11, but um, I'm pretty sure what that was was 9 out of 10. So 
Uh, after boiling the uh, connector, getting the front assembly uh, more aligned, and, uh, and doing a little bit of cleaning, we went from basically 0% to almost uh, 90%. So I wonder why uh, Ninja Gaiden is having trouble. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's gotten uh, dirty since I cleaned it last. So let's go ahead and I'll try to clean it. So, like I say, I call this my magic spray because it, it'll make stuff work when it, it just wasn't. I, I kind of know, I've cleaned this one so many times that I feel like it shouldn't be dirty, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's try uh, a ninja getting out. All right, that was 10 out of 10. So we went from four or three out of 10 to 10 out of 10 on Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I guess this had gotten uh, dirty somehow. Um, not sure maybe the uh, coating on it's worn out and it, it corrodes faster uh, or what, but um, you know, cleaned it up and now it's working great. Um, so, well, well, there you have it. I'd, I'd say that the boiling, um, it, you know, pretty much works. Um, so I, I might try to boil it one more time or something like that to see if I can get 10 out of 10 uh, every time. So far we're at 10 out of 10 with Zelda, 10 out of 10 with uh, Ninja Gaiden, and 9 out of 10 with uh, River City after I cleaned it. So that's, that's pretty close. Um, the, the, the main advantage of trying to restore the 72 pin connector rather than just replace it because, you know, a lot of people say you just replace it, but the replacements aren't nearly as good, the metal isn't as good as the original uh, Nintendo part. So if, if you can avoid replacing it, you really should. It'll, it'll probably last a lot longer. Uh, now, of course, I don't know how long this repair is going to uh, you know, keep it like this. I've heard for some other people that it actually lasts quite a long time. It's not like a couple months and you have to do it again, but maybe a couple years. But uh, no way to know that without, without trying it out. But so far, I would say... Uh, based on what I've heard about this and based on what I've heard about the 72 pin uh, replacement parts that you can buy now that uh, I would definitely uh, try this first and, and not try to buy a new part. So there you have it. Hope you like this video. Um, if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see me do, uh, leave it in the comments. And if you like uh, what I've been doing lately, uh, go ahead and click uh, subscribe.